Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Atesh and let's talk about something the course content, what you can expect in this course. So as I have already recorded all the sessions and finally I have, it's time to create a video that says contents, what you can, what you will have in this video. So expect this video as is a little longer as than a usual promo videos or like that. In this video, we are going to discuss totally about the contents that you can expect in this video. So first of all, we are going to discuss what is the SQL concepts apart from the top videos that say is the introduction to instructors and all these blah blah. After that, we are going to discuss the SQL concept because what I have seen many times people don't understand what we are going to study in this topic. So that video is dedicated to the concepts of SQL injection. Then we will discuss about the security misconceptions. Many times the SQL injection is only responsible because of a lots of security misconception. This may protect your website or this may protect your developing habits and like that. So we will talk about that as well. After that we will set up a Windows installation as you have already seen that this video series is not about uh, purchasing any other lab setups or like that. You will be creating your own labs in each videos. So first of all, we will create all those setups on the Windows based environment if you are on that. And then we will set up a Linux based environment. If you are on a Linux, then also you can follow up the series because it's just a web development. Although personally, I'll be using a Windows machine throughout the course. And in that Windows machine, I'll be using a virtual machine, the virtual workstation. And you can also get a virtual player absolutely for free. And in that, I'll be installing a backtrack machine, backtrack instance to just be synchronized with all the users like who are on the Mac, Windows, Linux box or anything like that. And then we will start our actual series. And first of all, we will check out the error based SQL injections. Many times during my sessions with the large corporate clients or universities, I've seen that people just understand SQL injection as just a zero single code string or just a single code based union all select injection. SQL injection is way more than and I have covered all that in such a comprehensive manner in this series. So after error based injection, the next topic that we'll be starting is moving more into the errors. We will find out what types of different errors we can get to have an SQL injection vulnerability. Then we will start with our challenge solution. Now to understand the SQL injection, there is lots of theories uh, over the internet, but there is no precise and consistent series on this. So uh, everything that we are going to learn will be in a challenge solution format. I'll be presenting a challenge in form of a web application. And of course you will have the source code and everything with you as you will be setting your labs by yourself, of course, by watching my videos. And in that we will be having a challenge number one. We will dump out the database via the vulnerability. After that we will be dumping via SQL. We will move on to a bit theoretical section on the SQL command prompt. So it's a good news. Those who don't know about much about the SQL, they can also jump into the series since I'll be discussing a lots of SQL concepts as well. Then again, uh, without code injection challenge, if you, you are not putting up a single code, double quotes or anything like that, how you can move on to that, we will learn in the challenge solution too. And then we will moving with the injecting with OR and AND strings, which are quite popular in the world of SQL injection. After that, we will move on to our injection challenge in solution three and other challenge aspects for you to solve. And of course, I'll be also solving that in the same video. After that, we will have a new injection, the solution challenge four, which will be having a new uh, twist into the injection series. And after that, we will learn 26 important command that will help you to get SQL injection in any web application, which is vulnerable to that. And these important commands will help you to get into a Boolean type of injection, which will be a challenge seven and challenge with the solution as well. So these blind injections are really the powerful one and these are quite common to have. After that, we will be moving on command for time-based injection. So I have a pretty good concept that first of all, we'll be dealing on the command prompt, learning all the commands which will be useful for the injection purpose. And then after that, we'll move on to the time-based injection challenge solution eight. After that, we will dump data injection again on to the new aspects. And finally, we will move on to the dumping challenge solution nine. Again, a new lesson, uh, new tricks, uh, new twist out there to solve out that. 
and after that we will based we will move on to the post based injection uh, till now we were talking about the get based injections and after that we will move on to the post based injection challenge solution 10 which again is quite of a different one from the others and likewise we will move on to the challenge 11 and finally we will move on to the double query commands now double query injection is one of the rarest one to see onto the internet but it do exist and it also do exist on our setup files after that we will again move on to the double query challenge uh, solution number 12 uh, which will be a challenge solution for our lab setups and again we will move on to the time based post injection which will be uh, just similar like what we have seen previously but this time it is post based uh, before that it was get based so a new solution and after that there is a no hint challenge 14 so that you so that you have learned quite a lot in the SQL injection series we will get a challenge for yourself the challenge is 80% being or I would say 90% being solved in the previous lesson. You just have to use a simple brain, uh, your brain.exe you could say and uh, solve this challenge. That would be pretty easy as well. Of course, my support will be always there for you. After that, we will use the strip slashes and update query attack at uh, solution number 15. So strip slashes is... If you, in case you don't know that, I'll be discussing that as well in the video, that how you can protect your websites from strip slashes tags and how you can hack again if you have a strip slashes tag. So that will be about uh, 15. After that, we will be using temper data, add-on for Mozilla, Chrome, and anything like that to attack into the application, and particularly in the headers. So this, I have named it as a header injection. So series is quite in depth and really it should be. After that, we will be moved on to the cookie-based injection. Yes, cookies are, uh, cookies injection is also possible. Uh, most of the time you might have seen that cookies are being used for the accesses or cookie grabbing or to grab a session, but yes, injection is also possible with cookies. So that we will be seeing at challenge solution 17, a new challenge, a new solution as well. And then we'll be moving, moving on to the encoding injection via cooking at challenge solution. This will uh, be a twist with cookie based injection. After that, we'll move on to the challenge 19. Of course, what you have learned so far, you will be tested in the challenge 19. Again, a very simple 95% is being solved already and just 5% can be solved by using a brain.exe file. <laughs> So after that, we will be moving on to the second order injection, which is quite a popular one. And recently being, uh, I have reported one of them to the Facebook and they have accepted and get uh, got me a bounty of uh, just a thousand dollars. So uh, these are pretty good and new to existence in the market. So you can also report a quite a bug bounty and can win thousands and thousands of dollars with this. Uh, after that, we will be moving on to the second order injection with filters. So filters are really uh, more powerful and how to evade those filters you will be learning in the challenge solution 20. And then we will be moving on to the blacklisted OR and AND. Since uh, these OR and AND are doing such a massacre over the web application, people have started to blacklist them. But again, I'm here to help you how you can evade those in your pen testing. I'll be teaching you that as well. After that, blacklisting space, comments, or and ends all will be blacklisted. But yes, again, we will be injecting into the application. We will learn that as well. After that, we will analyze the important scripts to inject. So I'll be giving you uh, some scripts of Python that you can simply have for analysis. So what are the different aspects you can inject and all around? Uh, although in the entire video series, I'll be not using any kinds of tools, softwares or like that. I'll be just doing everything manually so that you can understand the basic core concept behind uh, lying behind this things. After that, there will be a practice challenge 23 for youth so that you can practice out what we have just discussed in that. And then again, we have blacklisted union select and all of the other or and in space like that in the challenge. 24 and of course solution will be there in the same video after that we will discuss about the WAF that is web application firewall and what is the HTTP parameter pollution which is a recent technique being introduced in the Black Hat conference uh, we will be talking about that as well so these are the pretty much content that we have just put it up uh, onto the website so that you can learn all these things so 
it's time to just drop me an email at my website hitesh at the rate hiteshchaudhary.com to grab this course or if you are directly on some third party website grab it as soon as possible so definitely i'll be adding more videos on to this course as i get some new stuff but uh, this is right now we have got so i think it's a quite comprehensive series you you could have for this month so that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching